All right, so there's an armbar I really like to do because uh, it uh, allows us to really hurt the person on bottom while we do it. Um, <laughs> what? Wait, what? <laughs> and by hurt, I mean make very uncomfortable, right? Uh, and it's good because we're able to use this elbow and this forearm to smash in and create pressure on a very sensitive rib lady area, right? And we can move in uh, with our knee and our leg and set up our spinning armbar, right? Here, the classic way, I don't like it, right? Is to step up here and then you're gonna turn your hips as low as you can and sit, right? This is garbage. Cause you know how hard it is to turn your hips when your foot is here and your shins are this long? And this is where the person's yeah. gonna, they're gonna it's, rip out right there. It's terrible, right? It's like this foot is inherently gonna keep your hips way too far off the mat, right? So stepping here, is very, very difficult, or you gotta be very hip flexible to be able to pull this off without leaving any space. Right, so I fixed it. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> so instead of stepping, right, we can step up here just for a moment, but what we wanna do is we wanna swing into the position, right? So I plant my hand here so this leg is light. I'm gonna pick it up and instead of stepping, this knee comes whoop, and my hand catches, and it was the, the arm scooping the, his arm here. My hand's gonna catch my hip, I'm gonna pinch here, right? And if he keeps his arm to let go, I can grab it and finish it. It's great. Driving in here with the ribs, you can change your angle, right? Once I'm able to get my knee here, right? I'm at this angle, I'm gonna bring my knee up, it catches into my hand, and then when I sit back, I'm making sure that my forearm is behind my legs, right? None of this nonsense with the, uh, the elbow dropping here, right? Because I wanna connect my upper body to my lower body, my, my arms to my legs, because my arms are really weak, right? And so if I only use my arms to hold on to this stuff, right, he's gonna be able to turn and pull his elbow down, he's gonna hat rack me, right? A whole bunch of weird stuff, right? So instead what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that my arms are supported by my, my legs, right? So my elbows here, right, are behind my, uh, my, my legs, right? My, what, what are these leg bones? Femurs. femurs, my femurs, right? And I'm pinching here, right? It's not the pinching like a classic arm bar where we're doing it to isolate the shoulder. The pinching is just to make sure that my, my, uh, my elbow here and my, my wrist can stay attached to my legs here, right? If I'm out here and he uh, defends and pulls and does a bunch of stuff, right, he'll be out. All right, so while we're here, this hand is connected to my hip, my elbow is pulled back. Right, and then from here, if he stays down like this, right, I wanna get my other leg over, right? So uh, right now it's stuck under him because I do uh, super tight, great arm bars and my foot was under here and now I'm not just gonna be able to pull this out, right? So what I need to do is I need to expose the leg and I, I wanna fall towards the head side, right? So as I fall, I'm gonna switch my, my arm grip here, right, that way I can Fold to my elbow, and now I'm gonna pinch my leg and throw this little guy up and over here, right? And this is where we'll set up our nice leg hat if we want, right? But um, just make sure that you have good control over this elbow, right? And nice and tight and underneath this arm space here, right? You don't want this to be happening with his elbow here, you make it space, that's no good. Yeah, that's, that's bad. We want to keep his elbows out of the equation, right? If we let him dig under here, it's no good. He's gonna make space, he's gonna be able to escape with it, right? So when I get into my armbar position, I lean towards the head side here to expose the space under his arms, and now I'm underneath it, he's not gonna be able to dig under there as effectively, right? You might have to fight a little bit depending on the person, right? So if he like gets under there, then I'm probably gonna try and dig it back out, or like, it's hard to do it with yeah, your arm. So there's going to be like a, a little foot fight, right? And if you lose it and you're here, right, I can always reopen up that space right, by planting my foot next to his hip and now I'm going to use my leg to push. And if he wants to keep this arm from being armbarred, he's going to keep this connected with this other arm here, right? And I'm using my, my, my strength, right, to push myself towards his head. Right? My legs are engaged, so it's not like I'm just leaning this way, right? I'm driving with my legs and that'll pull up his arms and I can get under the space and I can leg hat him, right? And then from here, we can start opening up this arm. All right, so, being really tight here. As we're coming up, I catch my knee, boom, right? 
Yeah, if he leaves it open, we're gonna try and get it here, and then we get the arm bar, right? Normally, right, we're here. If, he, if he's pausing, right, now I'm gonna try, I'm gonna switch my grip to the left hand so that now I can lean towards the head side here and throw my leg over this space, right? And then from here, we can start breaking down the grip. Um, we don't have the leg over the, the, the body, right? So if he does nothing, it's not a problem because we have a step to uh, fix the leg over the body problem. That'll kind of shut down his options for doing the hitchhiker escape. But if a person's like, if he knows what's going on, right, he's going to immediately take advantage of the fact that you don't have that hip, hip control here. So when we sit, right, we've got to be prepared to go to the next thing. And what we do, what we want, is when he rolls over, my, that's my head side leg. I'll have to try to, I think it's the head side leg. Um, is going to find his hip, right? And we're gonna maintain the Kimura grip, or at least like the uh, grenade pin arm in there. Let's see. Oh, it's not here, it's that leg. All right, so as we step over, he goes, right? This foot is gonna find his hip as he comes up. So he goes, he goes, he goes, he goes, he goes. All right, boom. And now I'm going to look for the Kimura grip and I'm in my strong Kimura foot on hip, uh, foot on hip Kimura. All right, and here I can either try and dig this arm out if he leaves it unprotected. Otherwise, I'll usually invert rule and try and put it back. No, this is no good. But our So usually, yeah, the person is going to defend right away. away. And if we are strong, we can start pulling this out and attacking there. Or we have this whole... Oh. Oops, sorry. So we have under here. And we're trying to dig out. Mm, no, that's nice. All right, so if we get the Kimura here, right, one thing that I like to do is step up with the foot and then sit back. Right, if I can stay tight, I can finish it, but if he comes up, right, I got my foot on the hip, but now I can either keep going, right, or I can, I have a, a triangle option here as well, depending on where my arm is. But then once you have the triangle, you also have, you can start pulling that arm out, yeah. right? But usually if there's momentum, then I catch it in time. But I just look right there. over. Up here, I get the Kimura step up. I go this way. Here. I don't, yeah, it's weird, right? I can't. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. So I guess I gotta go. Yeah. So I'm trying to find this foot and this hip here. Yeah, this this hip is like, or the foot and the hip. This is not good. Really, yeah, this is not on my head. Camera. Yeah, so we're here. Oh, 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 I escaped. And we're right. here. So let's turn a little bit. Right. So when we go and invert on this, right? Foot on the hip up and over here, right? Sometimes, if we have enough momentum, just the weight of our legs will pull him over. But if he's base, he's really strong here, right? What I want to do is I, I'm reaching for his face here, right? And I need to make sure he can't stack me up, right? Because if I'm uh, loose with my hips and my legs, yeah, he's going to be here, right? However, if, when I get my leg over the face, what I like to do, is I like to find his uh, face and pinch it with my, my leg. Rrr. And now, I'm going to open my knee up. All right, so what happens is I'm trying to get his head to hold back. And it'll be a lot easier to get a person, uh, stop them from stacking you, um, even if they've, they've really got it in, right? Once you're able to open up that face. And you're also sideways, you're not flat on your back. I'm going to try and make this not look like garbage. There we go. So we sit, and we're here, okay, and then control in here, up and over. Oh, that's nice. All right, so now I'm going to find his face. All right, so you can even hide it, you can hide it. I know I can, but right. it's not going to be any better for me. If you I want to show that, I want to see if you make them see so they can see where I mean, we are. Even if you do hide it, you can hide your face. Right, we're gonna <laughs> dig it out here. Right, and now clamp whatever I can get and open up. Right, and just make sure you don't slam their head on the floor. Why not? Um, to make sure you only purposefully slam their head on the floor. <laughs> Different angles. Oh, this one's weird. 
Let's say, yeah. I'm so if, here. if we're stacked here, right, I'm still gonna look wow. for his face. Still gonna open him up. <laughs> <laughs> 